and see. And don't worry, I know that removing or turning this off doesn't remove power. At least I don't think it does. And uh, so I'm still going to be very careful. I just really want to see how this is packed together. I'm so excited to get such good quality cells. Because a lot of the other batteries that are shipped, you know, they, um, you know, I, I've, re I've re reviewed a few, like, C-grade batteries that had even, well, C-grade cells in them. And these big batteries, from what I've seen from a lot of people, I really enjoy them. These cells seem more like um, automotive grade. Now you're coming closer. So that is the battery. So we have all of the balance leads going to each individual cell. It looks like these are those metal cell, those metal metal packs that are about that big, really nice and compact. I believe they're using that same exact cell size in a lot of low budget electric vehicles, which makes me think that um, any car that is very simple in design and uses these lithium iron, iron phosphate batteries may end up being one of those things that 20 years down the line we look back on kind of like a Chevy S10 from the early 90s where it's kind of a little cheap thing that keeps kind of, keeps on going because uh, the lithium ion batteries if you always charge them to 100 percent and keep them at 100 percent they slowly degrade but the lithium iron phosphates they they last i believe their degradation is more limit more predicated on how much how many watt hours kilowatt hours you take out of it like how many how many pass through it but overall it still lasts about maybe six times to ten to ten times longer than lithium ion lithium ion battery that's charged full so yeah i'm going to take the camera from you and i'm going to take a look at this you know what i have the camera in here it's a little bit too close to get that close but oh. this is a big bms now these two look like they're really close. They're the same connection. So we don't have to really worry too much about that. I believe they're the same connection. Yeah, they're the same connection. It's wise to have redundant connections. This is the biggest VMS I've ever owned. I wonder what this is rated for. Max continuous discharge current, 100 amps. So 100 amps times 48 is about five kilowatts or thereabouts. I wouldn't want to go above two kilowatts, but yeah, that's pretty good. Then it looks like we have temperature sensing. Temperature sensing. There should be a third one somewhere. Third thermocouple. I'm not seeing it. Thighs. Have you seen it anywhere? The first two up. So we have one coming here, mm -hmm. and then one coming here. The other one might be somewhere else. You'll be able to tell by having it's a double pair black wire. I'm not seeing the double pair black wire going anywhere. No. So maybe the third one is actually inside of the BMS itself. Yeah, it might be. So that's the back of the LCD. RS-485. I had to work with that with a uh, motor one time. And I, I presume this is the Bluetooth module. So even if you turn off the display, the Bluetooth might still work. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, I couldn't pass this up for free just to do a few videos of. This will definitely give me something to do.
All right, and these are these are nice automotive cells. If this is the lowest quality we have to deal with, well, I think we're off to a good start. But yeah, they made some very good design choices with this. All right, let's put the, the, the cap on. This as well has a nice piece of, two pieces of thick foam underneath it. I'm of the mind not to put the little wings back on because I don't plan to be making it fit into a, uh, a rack mounted system anyway. So since this will be sitting around for a while in storage, I'll just leave those off. And with that, that'll be something we'll put into storage for a little bit. I mean, it's not going to get a storage unit or anything, but I'll, I'll take it to the workshop. I'll put it on a shelf. And I'm going to see about saving up to get an inverter. And thank you very much, Retro Power, for sending me this. You have your video now, one of them, because I hope to make two. I think I should make a good proper video of this later on when it's possible. And now we can play Dawn Trail without having this on the list to do. See you in... I really like that these fold in.